Denmark has announced a new proposal to implement a green tax on all flights in an effort to fund a sustainable energy transition for its domestic air travel. Released Thursday, the plan by the Scandinavian country would charge passengers, in Danish krones, around $9 for flights within Europe, $35 for medium distance flights, and $56 for long distance flights by 2030. The policy would be phased into effect beginning in 2025. Half of the revenue from the green tax, which is expected to bring in around 1.2 billion krones, would be used to support a transition to have all domestic flights use 100% sustainable fuels by 2030. The country plans to have its first all-green fueled domestic flight route in operation in 2025. Another portion of the revenue would support pension increases for elderly citizens. Flying takes a toll on the climate, which is why we need to equip our flight sector with green wings, Denmark's Minister for Climate, Energy and Utilities Lars Agard said in a statement. The flight sector in Denmark must, as all other sectors, lower its carbon footprint and get on board a green future. We will create that change and make green flights our reality. Globally, the aviation industry accounted for 2% of all energy-related CO2 emissions in 2022, according to the International Energy Agency. Pre-pandemic, this number was even higher. A 2020 study by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration on the aviation industry found that, global air travel and transport is responsible for 3.5% of all drivers of climate change from human activities. Some estimates see aviation's share in global carbon emissions rising to 22% by 2050. The move by the Danish government follows similar policies elsewhere in Europe that aim to limit the negative climate effects of air travel. At the start of this year, the government of the Netherlands tripled its passenger tax on air travel in another bid to curb carbon emissions. And earlier this summer, France became the first country in the world to enact a legal ban on any domestic short-haul flights between places where an easy train alternative exists, and where the train trip is less than 2.5 hours. Though illegal first, climate advocates found the law lacking, as routes banned by the law accounted for less than 3% of domestic flight emissions. The original proposal that came from the French Climate, Citizens Assembly, applied to flights where the train travel was under four hours, but the plan was watered down in the legislature. Though short-haul flights especially are extremely energy-intensive and make up about 25% of U.S. air traffic, similar proposals have not yet made way in the U.S., where the aviation industry accounts for about 3% of total greenhouse gas emissions. Initiatives to stop or lessen air travel are generally more popular in Europe than in the U.S.